Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As creatives, my team and I are constantly searching for new ways to learn and improve our skills. And we've been able to do that with the help of Skillshare. With thousands of inspiring classes, Skillshare allows users to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Take a virtual seat in the field of art, cinematography, web development, productivity, and so much more. Classes like After Effects, The Complete Guide with Phil Ebner help our mastering editor to improve his technique and refine our channel's animation style. For less than $10 a month and Annually. Get access to an ad-free learning community that's constantly adding more and more courses for you to take. Our first 1,000 besties to click the link in the description will get a free premium membership trial so you can explore your creativity and take control of your personal growth. No matter what 2021 brings, and it certainly can't be worse than 2020, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online classes. Click the link in the description to unleash your creativity today. Now, on to the show. You guys voted, and this is your pick for the best video of 2020. And the winner is... Good, and then we cut. the third annual Bestie Awards for the year 2020. Almost over, guys. This video gives us a chance to reflect and look back at the previous year, evaluating and determining the best balls, the best co-host, the scariest food, and my least favorite, the most awkward moment. There's a lot of them. But before we get into all that, let's talk about what is the best ever food review show. The best ever food review show is a hungry young group. Oh, can I say young? I'm in it. It's a hungry group of storytellers going around the world, documenting the most unique food in an effort to spread empathy and awareness of other cultures. Hopefully you guys come for the food. And while you're watching the videos, you get a better understanding of how people work, live, eat, and act. It turns out people around the world are pretty cool, except for Gary, frick Gary. Let me tell you, having a travel show in the year 2020, not that easy. Our home base is here in Vietnam, and in March, there was a lockdown. All the borders were closed, and they've remained closed ever since then. So you are seeing a little bit more Vietnam content than usual. But in many ways for our channel, it's still been rewarding, mainly because of all of you guys. Let's talk about some of what's happened this year for us. First of all, we still managed to go to five countries. Cuba, Myanmar, Namibia, Nigeria, and Vietnam. In 2021, it's gonna be like, we didn't leave. This channel grew by two 2.2 million subscribers, passing the 6 million subscriber mark. Our channel has reached over 1 billion total views, which is completely incredible. That's like one Justin Bieber music video for my life's work. We grew our team from 11 people to 14 people. What if I said 14.5 people? Uh, are they part-time or are they cut in half? So right now, it takes 14 people to make this channel work. Except for producer me. Uh, she's usually working against the team. Yeah. We also started a second channel. And eventually, I stopped posting so many videos because I got really tired. But don't worry, we're going to put more videos on there soon. So if you want to, go subscribe to the second channel, but you don't have to, and I'm not pressuring you. We won a Webby Award for Outstanding Good Looks. What was it for? We beat Billie Eilish because she wasn't aware of the competition. And finally, we survived a pandemic. When the pandemic happened, it was scary. And we didn't know if we we're gonna be able to even keep shooting and making content. So somehow, through all that disaster and uncertainty, the channel has kept on. That in itself is probably our biggest accomplishment this year. So that's 2020. It's been rough, uncertain, but there's also been rays of sunshine shining throughout. And we're gonna talk about right now. For these Bestie Awards, our team selected five videos from 10 different categories and millions of you guys voted. How many people voted? Literally almost a thousand people voted. Right now, we're gonna go through our 10 categories, starting with Best Corona Content. Hopefully this category isn't here next year. And the nominees for Best Corona Content are Mystery Box Cooking Challenge. The nice way to kill a lobster is by driving a blade right here between its eyes. Fuck. <laughs> Best ever house and fridge tour. So that's the pool. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll just jump in with all my clothes on. Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh... Inside Mark Weems. Ooh, that's a good one. I thought when you're just taking photos or writing, you can't feel the emotion of the food. <laughs> oh, wow. Best ever food review show, Team Spicy q and It tastes quite good. I think I might add some chilies. It's good. I don't anything. Dead inside. Or the fire noodle challenge with Mark Weens and Food Ranger. Mm. The shrimp with that sauce on it is incredible. Mm. Ah! 
And the winner is, with 41% of the vote. Should I do this every time? Does that sound good? No? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fire noodles with Mark Weens and Food Ranger. Oh, it's building now, isn't it? It's coming a little bit, yeah. Fire! Back in March, there was a period for about two or three weeks where everything was locked down. We couldn't go out, we couldn't shoot, but we still wanted to do something. So we made a lot of content here in the studio. So Food Ranger had the idea, sorry, Trevor Ranger. His government name is Trevor Ranger. Trevor Ranger had the idea of all of us getting together, making a video, and then we focused in on a topic that we could all do from home, eating those fire noodles, and my gosh, can those guys eat some spice. Thank you to Mark and Trevor Ranger for coming together and making that video. Category two. Best co-host, and the nominees are Oro in the Cuba series. Listen, we got our coffee here. This smells amazing, man. It smells like uh, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Nkachi in the Nigeria series. This is actually my favorite food, but oh, it's your favorite food. Yeah. Oh, why don't you know what's in it? Andrew in the Vietnam series. How do you juice a fish, Andrew? I don't think it's what you think. I <laughs> Rafsa in the Bangladesh series. Oh, do you see that flavor, that spicy kick? Oh man, you can feel all that 70 herbs they use. Or Virginia in the Hong Kong series. So this is chicken cartilage, but it's the chicken knees. I try to sell it as like popcorn chicken. I like that you have to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner for best co-host with only 26% of the vote, a very tight race, it is Rafsan in Bangladesh. This is a coral fish. This is like nearly 16 pounds. Cool. You're gonna have very smelly feet. Never wear shorts to a fish market. Bangladesh was incredibly intimidating. It was our first time being there. It's very busy, a bit chaotic. Rafsan was like uh, a brother from a younger mother. He's a kid with a lot of energy, a lot of focus, determination. It was really fun hanging out with him. No matter how long the days were, he was just on fire. And uh, he's gonna do big things, folks. Well, he'll do, I mean, at least medium to large things. Maybe he'll become an accountant, at least. I think we should keep that. He can take that. Our next category is most unique food. And the nominees are ants in Vietnam. Let's grab a little bit of ants and a little bit of eggs. We're just gonna eat a whole lot of it? Uh, yeah, just throw it in. That's really sour. Grass cutter in Nigeria. Are you breeding them here too? Yes. And do you watch them breed? <laughs> a little privacy would be nice. <laughs> snake soup in Hong Kong. This is like the four cheese pizza of snakes. It's the meat lovers or the cheese lovers, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bull testicles in Vietnam. This part of the body. Not that commonly eaten. Why are people coming here to taste your balls? And Mopane worms in Namibia. Do you know the method for getting them like this? You kill them, you just sort of press your thumb down and you go <laughs> <laughs> And you dry them out, you boil them or you fry them. And the winner for the most unique food of 2020 with 23% of the vote, bull testicles in Vietnam. Cheers. Hey. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? One to two percent more. Manly. I'd seen a lot of these 24 hour videos, people eating orange food, black food, Mexican food, street food for 24 hours straight. And then I got the idea for a testicle tour. For that video, my good friend Calvin joined me. He brought incredible energy and impressive translating skills. Are there any benefits to eating this? Okay, that's, I don't know if he's translating properly what I said. In the end, we ate a lot of testicles, and uh, they were all pretty good, to be honest. But the bull testicles were especially good. You hear how my voice is kind of cracking right now? That means I'm being authentic. By the way, if you like the testicle tour with Calvin, we're doing a whole eight video series about eating different animal parts. That's coming up in January. Our next category, the scariest food. And the nominees are isopods in Vietnam. It's got this little like fin part, like a shrimp, and then it's got this armor coating. Oh. Python in Nigeria. Is that snake meat? Yes. Oh, have you ever had snake? No. Stonefish in Vietnam. Its deadliest feature, 13 spines that contain enough venom to kill an adult. Even an adult who acts like a child and wears a bandana. Cuban crocodile in Cuba. It would be great for the show if he got to be around the crocodiles, maybe even catching one. It's very easy. And there's no element of danger, right? Uh, well. Ah! Ooh, ah! Or giant water bugs in Vietnam. Oh my god. He said that you will feel the same pain when a scorpion like bites you. Holy sh oh. Sorry, I just read it, the winner, and ugh. this is definitely a scary food. The winner for the scariest food of 2020 is with 41% of the votes, isopods in Vietnam. It's like somewhere between a shrimp and a brain. Really? A brain? Yeah. We had caught isopods in Japan. They were like half the size of this skull. The captain would cut open their belly and squeeze 
out this putrid belly content. It's like the worst toenail fungus you've ever smelled. <laughs> oh no! So when we saw the giant version of the isopod in Vietnam, I was thinking, so when do you cut out the gross belly part? Oh no, they eat that. Mm -hmm. So they grilled it up and they split it open and we dug our, we, that's a good word for it. Dig? Yeah. We shoveled our spoons inside and threw back some of this interesting isopod belly meat. The taste was actually decent, disconcerting, just fatty and gooey, but man, it was really hard to wrap my mind around that freaking isopod. Next on our 2020 Bestie Awards list, Best Food Reaction. And the nominees are Isopods in Vietnam. It tastes better than I imagined before. Well, what did you imagine though? Snake gallbladder in Hong Kong. Mm, it's not bad. Oh, it's not as bad as you say. Ofada in Nigeria. That's fantastic. Um, it's kind of like a... Um, no, I think I'm crying. You're gonna cry? That's how good I'm, I'm You're not crying. Talking. Yeah, I am. Roasted goose in Hong Kong. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that is to die for. Or grilled pork sausage roll in Vietnam. Round three, let's go for it. Okay. My God, it took me on a journey. And the winner for best food reaction of 2020 goes to Isopods in Vietnam. Is that okay if it's like that one? Here's the best part of doing that isopod video. We went back to the same street food stall a few weeks later to eat a giant snail. And literally, the owner told us some of you guys were calling him from outside the country asking if he has isopods. It was so confusing. Like, hey, I'm gonna be in Vietnam in one year. Do you have isopods? But hey, you know, that's the kind of positive impact we have on the food industry here. So I'm happy about that. Our next category for the 2020 Bestie Awards is the most awkward moment. The nominees are How Old Is Sunny from Cuba? Honestly, look at me. How old do you think I am? 22. Yeah. Shade thrown by a fishball vendor in Hong Kong. Oh, he says that's not too much. I told him you had almost 4 million subscribers. He said that's not much? Yeah. <laughs> Compared to what? Mm. Oh. <laughs> The fishball vendor was the best. That guy was so great. Sunny and Andrew at war in Vietnam. Oh, we uh, got a bunch of squid. We got no. three. No, you didn't, man. What are you? I reviewed the footage. I saw it. You saw the footage? I saw the squid was dead, bro. You took a dead squid and you threw it in the ocean, man. No. I was busting my ass. An unexpected gift in Bangladesh. Uh, here it is. Can you take the lid off? Yeah. Have you ever eaten this before? Oh, never. It's in between halal and haram. It's called makru. It's discouraged and could become haram if anyone were to perform a makru act excessive or dating in the Himba tribe in Namibia. Can I ask you this? When it comes to guys, what do you look for in a guy? What kind of skills are you looking for? What kind of... Uh, <laughs> what kind of characteristics? <laughs> she wants her, her husband to give her goats and sheep. The winner, taking away 59% of the vote, is dating in the Himba tribe. What is your wife? My wife? Oh, I don't have a wife yet. Why I'm still a very young man. Look at me. Marry him. Marry you. But I don't have any goats or sheep. I'm not a great candidate. And I snore. No problem. Shooting with the Himba people in Namibia, it's one of the coolest, most fun, interesting things I've ever done. There's about 20 women there and one guy, one very happy guy. But he may not be enough man for them all because one woman or a couple women, they seemed interested. They were touching my arm hair, which to me equals flirting. They said, if we want to get married, we can. I don't know how that would work. I would love to bring them to Saigon. That could be a fun video. Unfortunately, in the end, we had to agree to just be friends with benefits. <laughs> then people can wonder about that. Moving on to number seven, most mouth-watering meat. And the nominees are pork knuckles in Hong Kong. Super fatty gelatinous skin on the outside. Oh, wow, it's super soft. That is a tremendous amount of meat. Mezbani beef in Bangladesh. Wow, the beef, it's stunning. 
it falls apart in your mouth. The fat has just completely rendered down. It's super juicy and tender, and when you guys bite in, it's like a burst of flavors. Cuban lechon in Cuba. I wanna show you his most favorite part. Wow, look at this. Some crispy bits, some juicy bits. He just cut this from the underside. What is it called? Feel it. Capana in Namibia. Go in, do it. take a piece, dip in some of the spice here. Oh, there's some spice in this cardboard box. Oh, it's delicious. Or king crab in Vietnam. The $400 king crab will be cooked three ways. Sauteed with pepper sauce, sauteed with salted egg sauce, and mixed with fried rice. And the winner of the most mouthwatering meat for 2020 is king crab in Vietnam. Cheers. My mind. At King Crab we ate was something like $300 or $400, and my gosh, did we enjoy it. It was so good. Oh my God. My mouth is watering. I can't take it. Next. Now that we're past the cringe, we're getting into the more heartwarming categories. Number eight, most enlightening video. And the nominees are Makoko Floating Village in Nigeria. Just being here for a short time, it's maybe half a day now. I'm so impressed because obviously there's struggle here, but you wouldn't know it from the way everyone's acting. You know, everyone's upbeat, loud, happy, smiling, dancing, singing. It's just very impressive to me. The YouTube Village in Bangladesh. This is unlike anything I've seen before. More than 3,000 people arrived in their traditional, colorful clothes. Excitement is in the air. This is something special. The Himba tribe in Namibia. I think the whole idea is like, if you're meeting your husband, you want to smell good. It's smoky, but it's like a nice potpourri kind of scent. Whoa. Under each arm, in the hair. This is remarkable. How COVID-19 has affected tourism in Vietnam. Do you see any positives in this temporary slowdown in tourism here? You know, the day we closed the restaurant, I meet all of my staff and say, listen, something come up, you don't know. We all adjust what's happening. So take the time to be with your loved one and your family. Reconnect with the nature. Right. Reconnect with the old day of Hoi An. Don't take it too negative to think about the break time. And the death of street food in Hong Kong. We are eating at one of the last remaining Dai Pai Dong, an old traditional open air food stall. What is a Dai Pai Dong? It means a big licensed eatery. There are only about two dozen Dai Pai Dongs left in Hong Kong. Folks, we have another tight one. The winner with 25% of the vote is Makoko Floating Village in Nigeria. What do you think is the future for Makoko? Yeah, yeah I think uh, the future for Makoko now is, let me say education. That would be the best. I think once they start going to school, they, stand, they start learning other trades from outside. They start learning other work to do. Some of them can just work outside and live fishing. Mm -hmm. For me personally, this is one of my most favorite videos I've ever shot. You don't see a lot of YouTubers going to Nigeria. Actually, it felt like we had really reached like the pinnacle of what the channel was meant to be and meant to do. That trip was incredibly challenging, lightning, shooting in Makoko for sure. It's a slum. It's a very poor place financially, but there's some incredible human spirit there. I've seen people in a lot more developed countries who are far more miserable than the people of Makoko. So I think there's something we can all learn from watching that about resourcefulness, about fighting, about about just about humanity in general. And as a show, you know, we try to do a lot of comedy, a lot of fun stuff, but I like that we can also touch on more serious and political topics sometimes too. At this point, we only have two categories left. Right now we're moving on to number nine, best episode of 2020. And the nominees are the YouTube village in Bangladesh. This is not something that they feed people every day, 600 to 700 people every day. And during last Eid, they fed around a thousand people, right? That is surreal. The Herero people in Namibia. The dress you're wearing, is it hot? It does have the weight, but it's not hard. We are proud of it, so we, we are comfortable with it. We love it. But when it's sunny, yes, in the summer season, you will be sweating. Makoko Floating Village in Nigeria. Here, amidst the winding waterways and chaotic clattering of boats, oh, what's this? there's a system that makes sense. Did you hear that? Yeah. What is that? A way of life that only locals know. That is a church. Daytime street food in Lagos, Nigeria. I notice you have these markings on your face. Could you tell me where that comes from? 
there are different reasons why you get a tribal mark. So back in the days, some of these tribal marks are created for fashion. Then also the tribal marks is for identification. So when you see the tribal marks on your face, you know that, oh, this person is from this place. Or the secret diet of Myanmar monks in Myanmar. Right now we're in the area where the monks eat. Behind me are all the elder monks. The elder monks are not allowed to eat food that's been served by another monk. It needs to be kind of served by a, a lay person. So after the prayer, me and another guy, we lifted up the table, put it back down, and that kind of symbolizes a non-monk person serving them so they can then eat. And the winner, oh, this is the real one, not the teaser one. And the winner of the best episode of 2020, coming in with a distinct 37% of the votes, The Secret Diet of Myanmar Monks. Our editor, Leon, completely crushed it when he did the edit. And it was really fun because we got to explore a topic that we wouldn't normally explore, but we're still able to do it through food. How the monks get food, how they walk through the neighborhood. But I think a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that I shaved my head and became a monk for a couple of hours at least. That was our last video in Myanmar. And I was just like, F it, I'm gonna shave my head. There's so much that was incredible about that experience and about that day. <sighs> Good times. We do have one category left. Honestly, one of the most serious ones that matters a lot. The final category is best ball. ball. And the nominees are fish balls in Hong Kong. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That's incredibly meaty. Puff puffs in Nigeria. It's hot. Mmm, it's like a donut hole, but with no powdered sugar or anything sweet. Crunchy on the outside, but very like dense and doughy on the inside. Giant meatball in Vietnam. Inspired by Indonesia's giant meatballs and the movie Inception. This creation is a dream come true for ball lovers like me. Goat testicles in Vietnam. I got a chunk here. It looks pretty good, actually. Is there any bones in yours? I ordered boneless. Got it. Or bull testicles in Namibia. Is this one mine? Yeah, this, that one is yours. Fantastic. Oh, it's warm still. It's got a little bit of bark on it. Let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like a burned marshmallow. <laughs> Why did they pick this? What is wrong with people? Uh, I mean, and the winner is coming in with 42% of the vote, uh, a juggernaut in this category, goat testicles. First of all, you guys are hilarious for voting for this one. Yeah, you could have voted for the puff puff in Nigeria. That one's just made out of flour and it's fried. It's like a donut. The goat testicle, was it good? You have to calibrate. You're not eating a king crab, you're eating a testicle. Pretty goaty, but still pretty good. So that is our best ball of 2020. That brings us to the end of these awards. Guys, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this channel and for your loyalty and for not watching any other food channels. Please do that too. What kind of a prick would I be if I said that? Thank you for joining us as we look back on the year 2020. And now it's time to look forward. 2021, what is it gonna hold? Honestly, we have no idea. As soon as we can travel safely outside of Vietnam, that's what we plan to do. In the meantime, there is no limit of creative ideas that we have that we're gonna be doing here. Some of them are more Vietnam focused, some are food focused. By the time you're watching this, we just wrapped up a fine dining series. So we're gonna try to bring a huge diversity of interesting content to you, no matter what, no matter where we are, and regardless of the restrictions. For you guys at home, I know it's been a brutal year for many. I hope that these videos brought you a little bit of light and a little bit of entertainment during these freaked up times, man. And that's it. Thank you one more time. Thank you from everyone on my team. We love you for watching. That is it for this one. We'll see you next time. A peace. Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes Hoodie. Pillow Soft Fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay. And our Street Food Around the World graphic tee. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.